G'day guys, Thomas Penta here, just uh, finished the day early at work, so on a Saturday actually. So I've taken the liberty of getting around to vacuuming my boat, sorting out some fishing gear. I very rarely fish lures straight out of the packet, um, just because I like my own peace of mind of strength and if it's going to endure that fish of a lifetime. In particular for Murray Cod. These are a couple of things. Um, I like to do the moss spinner baits. This is branching off to my swim bait video um, in regards to changing trebles and rings. There are a few things that you can do to your spinner baits. Not so much as change the action, but to beef them up a bit, just give them that bit more bulk and increase your hookup chances, you, you hook up rate. It's actually paid the difference between having a fish and not having a fish. Um, and there's sometimes the case of, you know, what you do is just bad luck. So here we go. I'll be showing you on the Bassman DTs. I use Bassman a fair bit. It's actually the only spinnerbait brand I use just because out of a confidence, I love the way they swim, the action, the color range, and um, just the configurations that they have. Um, just really appeal to my style of fishing. Um, at the packet, they're awesome. Um, they work well, but I like to increase the size of the presentation I'm giving. I like to step it up that little bit more, give them a bulk, a bit more length, and just put out a bigger, bigger presentation overall to entice that bigger fish, not to let him second guess um, if it's worthy of a meal. Give him that sense of effort to reward. Um, if he does swim out and chase that down, there is a big reward um, of a bigger presentation. Um, and that's actually proved itself a fair bit, especially in clear water, which I'm pretty sure there's some waterways near you that would have, fish would have well and truly seen a uh, spinnerbait, a hard body, uh, a plastic, a surface lure by now. And I'm um, just giving it subtle different things, even uh, going back over to the swim bait deal um, or the wake baits it's not all about the clacking and clicking on top of the water sometimes that subtle presentation where you're only moving water um, is the best way to go to go about it straight out the packet There she is, straight out of the packet. Small paddle tail on the back, which works great. Stinger hook, sticky sharp. But there's a few things I want to do to this, just to make it beef it up a bit and give it that bit more size. So the first thing I'm going to do is rip that plastic off and use it for something else. Now we just have the naked, naked skirt. I'm just going to select a plastic. So now that I've selected my spinnerbait, got my tail. In this case, chartreuse, chartreuse six inch like a city. I'm throwing it on a 5.0 Gamakatsu closed eye side wash. So what I'm going to do first is, and I recommend all that are starting out, this is a great way to measure up for the first time. Um, by now, I'm able to do it without measuring. I can automatically put the put the um, stinger hook inside the plastic and thread it onto the hook just by experience and feel pretty much just going through the bait itself. Um, so one thing I recommend is just placing it on top of the hook like that and and just lining it up with the uh, plastic itself, how it sits on the back of the keeper. I can see where that stinger comes out the bait. So what I do, 
make a little mark on the back. So now that I've made my hole, I'm going to get my hook and insert it sideways. Again, this is how I do it. Just break the seal and start feeding it straight inside eye first. Okay, now that it's reached this point and it's all the way in, turn it upright and just pull each end just so it straightens out, sits where it needs to be. Now that's sitting flush. Nice and square, no wrinkles in it, no lumps in it, it's not kinked in any way. Now I want to do is grab my spinnerbait and the hook, put the uh, point through the front of the plastic, not in the center, not, at the, not near the top, but a third of the way in. We're going to insert it there, feeding it down and keeping it straight, straight the whole time. The straighter you keep it, the better the bait will swim. So now you've got a feel for the eye of the stinger hook. With these lighter plastics, you can generally see it, see it through the plastic. And coming out in the center of the back. Slugging that up to its keeper underneath the skirt. She's sitting pretty straight. Now, yeah. you could fish that the way it is now, but within uh, oh, going into the session, you'll notice that the plastic will work its way back off just from water pressure, just from water running past and the tail kicking along, it'll work its way and worm its way down the shank of the hook and it will create this kink. That won't affect the hook up. If a fish were to hit it, the chances are is you will get hooked as if it was rigged originally, but it will kill the bait. Having a, a hook like that and going through the water, chances are that your spinner bait could sit like this or kink off even off to one of the sides if it's not sitting straight. You can keel off to the side. The way of running true is to help it keep on that point there. What I like to do is use a, a um, Lumo glow bead, just the rubber Lumo glow bead. Don't even know the name of the brand of it. I just like it because it works. Well, that's the packet there. If you're interested, so now what we do is we get this Lumo bead. It has openings on either end it onto the main hook and just slide it on. Just twisting and working its way on. Some people may like to use a pair of pliers. Just feeding it down the hook, just on top of the plastic and going a little bit into the plastic just so it sits snug. Now that is locked at that point, so it cannot come off. You hook a fish, a really large fish, or even just an aggro fish, chances are he can rip the plastic and it will go up, but its job's already done, and for what they're worth, I'll be able to change it every other cast, every other cast. Another thing you can do is super glue in front of this plastic to the underside of the skirt, to the, jig, to the hook keeper. But one thing you must consider is some plastics do not react well to glue. Um, I've experienced that Lunker Cities in particular do not lock some glues. They start to split and deteriorate. Even some of the uh, rubber bands on some of the skirts will deteriorate. Um, not on the spot, but giving weeks time, you'll open your tackle box to find there's bits of skirt everywhere. Um, and it can cost a bit of money. Uh, I learnt the hard way. Um, that's how I like to rig mine. It works for me. They swim straight. I, I would be happy to throw this with every bit of confidence. 
Remember to keep that nice and straight. It, it pays to do it beforehand, um, just to take your time and get it perfected. On that note, I hope this video was of some help. Um, on another point of view, just hearing it from someone else, I know I always like to hear someone else's point of view. I may not always agree, but I always like to hear their 2% because you never know what you can incorporate with what you already know. I'll leave the link in the description below of the spinnerbaits that I was rigging and where you can get them from. And guys, when you're on the water, on a boat, on the bank, on a pier, walk in the river, on a kayak, remember that you never know that next cast could bring. And always, always cast like it's your last.